You're watching Chewing the Cud with Mike Benny Rowe and Lee Robertson. But it's not about how big it is, it's about making sure it fits snugly in when you... Hello and welcome to Chewing the Cud. It's an Easter edition, so what have you got for us this week in showbiz, Lee? Mainly about a man who rises from the dead, oh. manages to push a rock away and gets Easter eggs first. No, not really. Oh. Um, I've got a little bit of, of news about Madonna's children. That's quite Eastery. Yeah, it is, isn't it? But they have risen as well. <laughs> have they, really? Yes. Like a cheap cake. Yes. Yes. <laughs> down a hill. Cheap cake down a hill. Roll an egg down the hill. Oh, an egg down the hill. <laughs> okay, right. Well, on the screen now, you can see all the ways of getting hold of us. It's at The Could TV on social media, where you can also follow us. The TV for our website. And on YouTube or podcast services, look for Chewing The Could and hit subscribe. And as people who have shared or liked one of our posts, their names scroll along the bottom of the screen, we go over to Mike and the Buzz. Petrol's not very cheap at the minute, is it, Lee? No, it isn't. No, because I thought I'd been mugged when I last went to get Did petrol. Did you? Yeah. <clears throat> An ounce of fluid. <laughs> <laughs> You're not supposed to use that sort of thing to fill your car up. Oh. I mean, the speed you go, you probably could. Do you do you do the do you fill up a, t a little a <laughs> little canister while you're there as well, just in case? Just in case what? I don't know. Some people do that though, don't they? Just in case they what? They like fill pe the petrol. They fill the car with petrol, and then right. they also fill a, a tank uh, a jerry can. Yeah, I don't know why they do that though. Perhaps they're going to set fire to something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they're on a lawn mower. We would, yeah. Petrol lawn mower. Yeah. Or mm. they're just hoarding petrol. Mm. All right. Um, a gentleman from Congleton in Cheshire. I love the name of that place. Congleton. Congleton. Yeah. Congleton. Is that not Lake District? No, you said Cheshire. I said Cheshire because it's Congleton in Cheshire. Okay. Yeah, I'm aware of the place. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, has been filmed at Tesco filling up his car with cooking oil. Okay. Instead of petrol, well, instead of diesel. The, 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 the bio cooking oil. That... No, no, just normal sunflower oil. Oh, okay. Just because it's cheaper than, than actually using petrol. Well, he's putting it in his car to drive. In his car. Well, yeah. that'll break his car. So, here's the thing. <clears throat> Technically, yes, but no. Long term, it will damage his car. Okay. But short term, his car will run on cooking oil. It stinks. It'll smell like chip fat. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. And it basically, as it, as, it, as it gets used, it will seize up his engine. And oh, so it's not his... really a good idea, is it? It's not a good idea, but it's cheaper than using petrol. But in the long run, it's not cheaper, is it? Because your car will break and then you've got to buy a new car. Which is far more than... <laughs> far more than petrol. Yeah. As if it's an electric car and it does away with petrol altogether. Mm. I, don't, I, don't, I don't see the sense. You don't see the no, sense? No, I don't see the sense. don't see it. the sense. I thought it was clever. If, it, if, if your car never broke and that was a thing, uh -huh. then that's fine. The fact <laughs> that th like two weeks down the line his car's going to die. Oh, no, it's die. not two weeks. It's quite a long time. Oh, so okay. eventually it'll die. Eventually? Yeah, yeah. Okay. But you can run it on, on cooking oil. I'm not going to try it. Are you not? No. <laughs> <laughs> Just not go anywhere. No, I might. I suppose you could like shove a like a joint of beef. <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> I was expecting what are you doing? Getting stoned while I'm Off driving my car. That's exhaust a little... and see if it'll cook it. As well as <laughs> run the car. It could though, couldn't it? <laughs> so you've gone for a joint of beef. Up and exhaust. I mean, I'm not. I'm, I know that was just the first <laughs> cut of meat that came into my head. You could, you know, go smaller, like a sausage. Or <laughs> That's extreme. Or a, or a chicken goujon. Um, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Maybe some fish. Yeah, because you can you can cook food in your engine, <laughs> can't you? Not, re not yeah, really. Yeah, you can wrap it in tin foil uh -huh. and place it in, and it'll cook it. Not obviously when you're driving, but I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> Sorry, I'm going away once. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, if you're going on a long journey, you can cook food on your engine. Can you? Like, yeah, yeah. Oh, that wasn't because making you, that up. Yeah, but not when you're not driving anywhere. No, it's got to be hot. It's got to be hot. Yeah. Just yeah. putting cold and it won't do anything. It's got to be hot to heat it up. Yeah. Yeah. So you could put a baked potato in. You could be like... But you... they take a while. Yeah, but if you're, if you're like, saying if you're going on a long journey, mm. if you're like going... <laughs> We need to go for a two and a half hour drive. Why got taters? No, go. let's say, oh, we're going to, oh, but you know what? I haven't got any money to stop at the service. It's very expensive. Very expensive. <laughs> let's just put a couple of potatoes in. <laughs> in the engine. 
be lovely by the time we get to Johnny Groats or wherever it is. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, yes. So, you can use cooking oil, but it's recommended you don't. No. Have you ever eaten something accidentally or eaten something and then regretted it instantly? Um... Probably, but I can't think of anything. <laughs> can't think of what? Anything to the to the. No, I'm not. I'm not saying this. Story. I'm not telling it. Cabbage cream eggs, a lovely little seasonal treat that start in December and run yes. to, like the following October. Yeah. Um, are doing a promotion where you could you find a, a half white half half milk chocolate one. Yes. And it could be worth up to ten thousand mm -hmm. pounds. Well, this um, young gentleman um, has accidentally eaten his. Oh. So yes, there's 146 half white half milk chocolate eggs across the UK. Um, the top prize is ten thousand pounds. But this young gentleman um, basically ate his, going, "Oh, that's that's different. That's unusual." Nom 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 okay. nom. Um, he was scrolling through Instagram and noticed and went, "Oh no." The regurgitator. Yes, throwing up, sick, going, oh, "Look, it's the same colour." <laughs> um, on the plus side, it's not just the egg that you need; it's the wrapper as well. Okay. Okay, so it's not not all is not lost. Did he keep the wrapper? He kept the wrapper. Did he? He kept the wrapper. Oh, okay. I'm but sure. he's eating the egg, so it's like... Hmm. Do you not have to have a photograph of you holding the egg and, yeah. and the wrapper? Yeah. So he's not got any money? No. Mm. So, it, so it could have been worth £10,000. It might not have been. They're not all worth £10,000, no. are they? Some of them are worth less. less. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> You've read this story well, haven't you? I have, you? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Did he yeah. shove it up his bum? Usually that's where we're going on these <laughs> stories. No. Just no. a story about a man not okay. earning any money from eating a chocolate egg. <laughs> Knowing you, it's like a story. And he shoved up his bum, then he realised, then he laid it out again to kind of, to prove, God, I'm not well. <laughs> <laughs> we know that. <laughs> um, and so is the on-site psychiatrist. But if you want to interact with us on social media, it's at the Cud TV. Our website is thecud.tv. And on YouTube, we are, of course, under Chewing the Cud. And now it's time for our story of the week. Still Easter themed, okay? You like a seasonal treat? I do. Yes. So like Christmas time, you're all about the Christmas chocolates. Yes. Yeah, and the eggnog. No. No. Don't like eggnog. No. Not no. like eggnog. No. It's it's basically cream and booze. No. Egg stuff is okay. raw. Okay, so Christmas chocolate. <clears throat> mm hmm Okay. Um, and then it's sort of like autumn, you've got all the like the candy flosses and the, the the, what's it called? Parking you wanted to eat one time? Parking, yes. Parking, yeah. Parking. Parking. Yeah. Parking. It's nice. It's, it's what you do with a car. Okay, yeah. Like... yeah. Um, well, a new thing's come out for Easter. Yeah, so we've got you know, chocolate eggs, mm -hmm. quite bad for your belly. Yeah. Well, hummus. Sainsbury's brow, a new hummus. Easter hummus. Easter hummus. Would you like to try some Easter hummus? Because it's chocolate flavoured hummus. Oh, that sounds rank. It does sound rank, doesn't it? But yeah, Easter bunny snacks, carrots, and chocolate flavored hummus. Okay, have you have you got some? Of course, I have. Pop in your cupboard. Is it the actual hummus, or is it something you mashed up at home? <laughs> Would I recreate? In the cupboard? Oh, I've got to talk in my cupboard. Go in the cupboard. Would I recreate something cheaply? Oh, look. I would normally, but this is actually the one. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so yes, this is a whole. Um, this is the thing, indeed. They don't give you much. They don't give you really? much. No. So yeah. So yeah, good to have a try. It's only a pound, and it looks a bit like poo. It does, um, especially when you've opened it. It looks like grainy poo. See, I've not got a lot of smell or taste at the moment. Because you're just after the road, aren't you? Mm, so it, I, I'm not sure. It does look like baby shit. <laughs> I'll let you go first then, if you can't taste anything. So it's supposed to be chocolate orange. Look at that. Literally, yeah. shit on a carrot. <laughs> Literally is. It is, yeah. I don't mind. <laughs> but so your taste buds are back. It, it's bitter. <laughs> it's bitter. Mm. So I like bitter flavours. It's not pleasant. <laughs> so that, that just reminds me of something. You know, you know, been in a bit of a rush. Ooh. No. Oh, that's good. No. How oh, about no. the aftertaste not? Oh, no. No, it's got a really nasty chemically <laughs> aftertaste. No. That's not right. 
Uh, didn't get any first, orange. No, the first, I got a lot of orange to start with. Oh, okay. Right. But then it went, no. No. Because is it chickpeas? It is chickpeas hummus, yeah. Okay. No. No, that's not a win. Um, so the internet has basically gone uproar at Sainsbury's saying you've taken it too far, oh. you've gone mad, stop it, and I agree with the internet. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah, that's not, not tasty at all. Just because you can doesn't mean to say that you should. No, and on that bombshell, that's all from the buzz this week. Well, thanks that, Mike. Can it's like taste baby shit. I must give you the wrong one. Whoops. Um, anyway, it's a pleasure as always. Next we have Lee and the showbiz. You're watching Chewing the Cud with Lee and Mike. Now let's get ready for Lee and the showbiz. <laughs> Wow. Well, we've got some... There's nothing Easter-related, showbiz-wise. Oh, okay. Because... I'm sure, I don't know. So, ah. I'm sure celebrities eat Easter eggs and that kind of stuff. But, you know, <laughs> whatever. Um, you so, we've got the story about the person that's changed the Easter egg into a, um, a bowl that it filled with cornflakes. They eat... Yeah, that's a few years old, that, isn't it? Yeah. Hmm. No, the, none of the celebrities no, have done no, that. No, no, no celebrities. Not really okay. So, we're, t we're telling you talking about Baby Hall. Mm. Yeah. So, if you understand that... Get in touch. Um, today, we are talking about Madonna's children. She has a lot of children. She, the ones she's birthed or the ones she's, she's birthed. adopted? She's birthed. So this one is about Rocco, her son. Okay. Mm -hmm. With Guy Ritchie. What, what's he do with Guy Ritchie? It's his dad. All right. Okay, okay. So we've got a picture of... See, now you're... You, you, How old is he? He's 21. Legal. So he's... So he's... So <laughs> he's... He goes... Under the name of, of, of Rocco is his actual name, mm -hmm. but he goes under the name, um, he's an artist, basically. Okay. So he creates pictures. He's not an unattractive lad. He's not an unattractive lad, um, considering. Well, his mother was pretty to start with. Yeah, she was. And, and Guy Ritchie, Guy Ritchie was kind Ritchie of was attractive. attractive. Yeah. yeah, so yeah. Anyway, so he's, he's, he's has a pseudonym. So he's called Red, R-H-E-D. Um, so not Red. Red, 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 um, and the rocker um, was weird. he's actually doing quite well for himself, selling his artwork. We, we do uh, so. She's she's bigging him up because so that's she, why people are buying it. Um, I don't know whether they know now. They know, but I don't know if they knew before that that's who he was. Right. Um, so she's taken to her. She loves her Instagram. Does mad. She does, unfortunately. Um, and she, so she's taken to Instagram to kind of like big up her son, saying he's amazing. We've got a photograph of Madonna. In front of one of her son's um, photographs, um, photographs, uh, pictures, pictures, pictures. Oh, okay. um, yeah. Right. Oh dear, that does not look See, good. That to me, the I'm painting's like, not the good painting. either. That looks like Andy Peters, the painting. <laughs> Maybe it was. Maybe it was. Right, Maybe that was his inspiration. <laughs> yeah. So she's bigged him up, and she's kind of like saying, "Look, you know, I'm proud mum, proud mama." She she's somebody who collects a lot of art anyway. Yeah. She has a huge collection of really expensive artwork by some really famous artists. Mm -hmm. um, so he goes by the name of Red. Mm -hmm. um, that yeah. So he's and he's he's selling them. They they go so for. <laughs> Sticking him on the fridge. Another. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know for Yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you. Um, yeah. So he, so he genuinely has gone and studied art. He's not just gone. I'm just gonna do painting. Um, he's like gone and studied. So he's not like a, a, a Katie Price kind of. No. Thing, going, I'm doing this now. Yeah, doing this. Um, he studied at St Martin's College of Royal Drawing. Oh. Um, um, and it's, it, apparently, <laughs> every time I hear that, I get um, common people by pulp in my head. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. I don't particularly like them. They're not for me. They're not for me. They're no. not what I would hang. But, you know, I don't particularly like Andy Peters in general. So I wouldn't Do you go, not? No, I find him irritating. See, I like Andy Peters. Do you? A-N-D-I-I. L-E-I-G-H. Apparently, they sell for six figures. His art. Zero, 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 one. <laughs> good, good, for, good for him. Well done him. Good for him. Yes. Well done you. Well done you. Well done you. For getting your mother to promote your work. Well, if you've got, got a famous mother. The daughter is an actor, um, Lourdes. 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 She's an actress or actor. Okay. She has hairy armpits. Um, that's her selling point. Right, okay. Mm -hmm. um, and then there's the ones that she adopted. Um, one of them's really annoying. Andy Peters. 
No. Uh. Um, yeah. But, well, no, that's that's a different topic. Okay. Or just, you know, well, don't take it away from Red. Well, well done, Red. Well yeah, done, Red. Well done, Red. Yes. Now, a little bit of news about um, Elliot Page. Okay. Um, the actor. Mm -hmm. So, um, Elliot famously um, revealed last year that he was transitioning. Mm -hmm. and um, has gone through that process. He's now ready to um, publish his memoir oh. that he's going to be releasing. So it says, it's all about love, sex, and the cesspool of Hollywood. So it sounds like a light that's, read. It sounds there. fun, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we've got a picture of Elliot here with, with his dog. Uh oh, oh that's quite cute. Um, so he's opening up all about what it's like to be trans in Hollywood and the reactions that he's got, the mental health issues, relationships, all those kind of st kind of things. It's coming out next year in 2023. It's called Page Boy. Okay. I like um, that. With, through Associated Press. Um, and since he's transitioned, he's not been shy with the old Instagram mm. photogrammographs. He he has. So he's 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 um he likes the thirst trap. Yes, so we, we all do. We, yeah, we've got a, we've got a picture of one of his first traps here. Oh, um, uh, you see, can, I have issues. Someone hose down, producer Jay, please. Oh, um, what doing in that corner is not not broadcastable. What, even the even the even the chavy trousers that are up yeah, into his. I'm not. A f yeah, I'm not a fan of the trousers. They, they, no, there's a lot of that thin ankle there. Is he wearing slippers? I don't know. I don't think that's They it. might be Crocs. They could be. But, you know, it's not, not taking that away from the... A really good body. The, the ripped body. Yeah, yeah. ripped body. Yeah. 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 Not so much about the trousers. Yeah, not so keen on that. Um, so, yeah, he's, he's doing all sorts of stuff. He's going to be um, doing a documentary. Okay. Not necessarily about himself. Um, it's, it's a general documentary about the trans community in general. Cool. And also the third series of... The Umbrella Squad. Academy. Academy. Um, <laughs> yeah. Third series uh -huh. of the Umbrella Academy. Yeah. That is coming later this year, possibly early next year. Okay. So he said, you know, completely transformed my life. Not only was what happened life-changing, but life-saving. Um, so, yeah, so the, the documentary is about trans lives in Italy. I got that oh. slightly wrong. And that that's, should be on streaming services now. So okay. look it up. Not nice. just pictures of him being topless. Oh. Grow, Jay. Grow a little bit. You know. Not that way, Jay. Talk Not that way. But, you know. Um, now, <laughs> during lockdown, uh -huh. we had this thing, didn't we, where there was this, like, trend on, on social trend on social media where people would post pictures of things and you had to decide whether it was a cake or whether it was a real thing. Yes. So people did. like did these really yeah. fancy cakes. Mm -hmm. We covered that. In the, we in did, the yeah, yeah. yeah. So Netflix have turned that hot on the heels of every trend two years ago. Um, have turned it into. Well, to be fair, lockdown kind of stopped them doing. Oh well, yeah, so. yeah. So they, so they have, they have just released um, a television program called "Is It Cake?" Oh. Um, and it's base. So it's basically what it is. It's it's um, a competition, cooking competition, where the contestants have to bake a thing. They get like given like a, a cake. like a cake, but they get given a top. They give them like an object, right. and okay. then they've got to bake that object. And then a team of celebrities mm -hmm. mm, um, will then look at them and go, "That's cake. Right. That's not a cake." And then the host will then chop them. And if it isn't a cake, yeah. they get money. If okay. it is a cake, no. I don't know. If. <laughs> If they choose the, I don't know. It's I'm going to guess that if if the celebrity chooses the cake, says the cake is a cake, they don't win. Yeah. But if the celebrity says it's a real thing and it's a cake, they win money. To trick they the have celebrity. to. They have yeah. to trick the celebrity yeah, in choosing so they, the non-cake. Yeah. They don't want them to pick the cake that they've made. As a cake. As a cake. As a cake. Yeah. So they think that the, the cake is the real thing. Yeah. Yeah. And if they. Past that, it, they get money. Something like that, yeah. But it goes on a rollover if they don't. They don't okay. do. I have I've managed to watch two of the episodes and I can't watch any more. But it's cake. It's really irritating. So so the so the guy is uh, the host of it is called called Mikey Daly. We've got a pic. So I think we've got a picture of a cake that looked like a burger that they've okay. chopped in half. So there we go. So 
That was obviously a cake though, because the tomato gives it away. Yeah, but in the what happens is is they do it in the distance. They not they don't go right up and, and close and look at them. Yeah, but still, you can. Say, if I was looking at a distance at that, I'd be going. That's quite clearly because well, that's yeah. too red for a tomato. Well, yes, it tomatoes could. aren't that red. Yeah. So you know that. Why has it got jizz on the bottom? Oh, I don't know, Mike. Per perhaps it was. I would imagine that's mayonnaise. Uh -huh. I don't know. That's what they're calling it. Yeah, well... Special sauce. It's not just foods. They do all sorts of stuff. They can do, like, shoes. Okay. Um, all sorts all of things. All sorts of things. All sorts of yeah. things, like yeah. cakes that, and shoes. We've got a picture of the host. Okay. Um, Is he Mike, attractive? You probably think he would be. Because he's got a pulse, right? Okay. Um, Mikey Day, yeah. he a is... A, a little bit of a vibe. He's really, really irritating. He channels kind of like... Jim Carrey in Ace Ventura. It's say. really hyper, like, all right, then. And you're like, mm. so two episodes, and I was like, no, I'm done now. The novelty of going, oh, I wonder if that's cake or not, wears off very, very quickly. So you get some cake. You're just like, oh, okay, all right, whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Um, yeah, so what they do is there's like seven of them, seven contestants, and they, they're shown a whole array of, of, of items, and then they've got to decide, they've got to say that's cake or that's not a cake. Right. The ones that lose, they become the contestants, and then they have to recreate that thing that they, you know, whatever. Right. So that's, that's the end of this week's showbiz news. Are you cake or are you real? I'm, like, I'm going to tell you if I'm cake. Can I stab you? No. No, okay. <laughs> Thank you, Lee, for threatening to stab me on TV. Stick around, as coming up next, we've got our game of the week. You're watching Chewing the Cud. This week we are playing a new game, which is our Lazy Susan's Musical Roulette. And this one is for our low-rent version of Mr. Tumble. So off you pop. F***ing rude. <laughs> <laughs> game of the week. So all that Lee's going to do is spin his Lazy Susan and pick a question for me, and it'll all be musical based. Ooh. Are you ready, Mike? I am. Is there, do you have a preference in which way you would like me to spin the Lazy Susan, clockwise or anti-clockwise? I'll leave that down to your choice. Oh. Okay, I should spin it clockwise. Ooh. Where will it stop? Nobody knows. Well, it's four chances. Um, Oh, so it stopped on 80s. Oh, okay. I was alive at some of that. Mm, okay. So, your question is, mm -hmm. which former Supremes member went on to record I'm Coming Out, that gay anthem? That would be the wonderful Kai... No, it's not really. It's Diana Ross. It is indeed. Uh, Miss Ross. I'm coming out. Mm. I want no world to know. Spin again. Woo! Where will it stop? Oh, rock. Ooh. Ooh, a bit like of rock. rock. Okay. A bit of Blackpool rock. Can you name the front man of Motorhead? Brian I wouldn't Adams. be able to, but it is a, <laughs> it is a comedy name. Brian Adams? No, it isn't. Motorhead, a German. I don't know. I'm just guessing. It's Lemmy Kilmister. <laughs> okay. You would never have got that, would you? No, I never no. got that one. No, no. Okay, right. I shall, I shall, I shall spin again. Okay. Apologies to Lemmy Kilmister. But we don't know who you are. We don't know who you are. You're not our demographic. Um, oh, it's, it's eight is again. No. Okay, right. Can you name the eight is girl band that had hits with? Our lips are sealed. <laughs> Vacation, and we got the beat. We got the beat. Do, 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 do. We got the beat. That's a clue for you. Um, no, I can't. I don't know what. Our, um, oh, do you want a clue? I'd love a clue. Yeah. Belinda Carlisle used to be in this band <laughs> before she was <laughs> Belinda Carlisle. <laughs> Super sister. What? That's the only girl band you know, isn't it? That bloody coffee song. I like my man, like I like my coffee. Hot, 
Strong and dribbling down my throat. <laughs> no. Yeah. Um, it is. It, it was the Go-Go's. Oh, yeah. It went, went. Before your time, I would have thought the yes, Go-Go's. Yes, very much before my time. Right. Oh, Lazy Susan snapped a fingernail then. That's the gayest thing I've ever said on this show. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, it's not. <laughs> this is Soundtracks. Oh. Soundtracks. Um, <laughs> what was the first film to star Ice Cube, the rapper, in case you were wondering? Frozen. Mm. It could, it could, I'm sure this has also been a porno film at, at one point. No, he didn't star in the porno version. Yeah. So, Frozen the porno? No. Um, Ice Cube, the rapper, uh? was in Boys in the Hood. Uh, B O Y Z boys. Boys in boys. the hood. Yeah, there is, I'm sure there's been a trigger film with a similar title. Who knows? Boys under my hood, something like that. Um, <laughs> let us spin again. I feel like I should be wearing a. Oh, it's the eighties again, Mike. Sorry. You're not sorry at all. Which famous disco guitarist co-produced the album Let's Dance by David Bowie? Or Bowie. Just whatever your preference is. Mick Jagger. <laughs> Mick Jagger, the famous guitarist. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no. Think think um Dreadlocks? Backwards Kangle Hat? Very famous riff in a lot of his stuff. I've guessed. I don't know. Um, no, it is Niall Rogers. Oh. No, from Chic. Who? Chic. Who? Chic. What's Chic? Chic, the the disco band. <sighs> oh, Liz. Oh, now it's in the middle, so you can either have pop or rock. 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 Okay. How many roads must a man walk down before you call him a man? Is the opening to which song? How oh, is this? How is this rock music? It's quite clearly. Um, is he listening? Um, it's blowing in the wind. Uh, yes, but do you know by who? Uh, Simon Garfunkel, wasn't it? Bob Dylan. I don't know. You can have that point. Was, oh, was it? Did it say Bob by Bob Dylan on it? It's blowing in the wind by Bob Dylan. So I got blowing in the wind. Blowing in the wind. Blowing in the Wind. By Bob Dylan? Yeah, Blowing in the Wind. Okay. Oh, Pop. Oh. Can you name all five members of the Spice Girls by their actual names and their surnames? Oh, you see, because you've got Jerry Halliwell Horner slash whatever she called herself. I'll give you that one. Right, you've got... Um, Victoria Beckham. Yes. I'm go with. Um, Emma Bunton. Yes. Melanie Sykes. No. Um, Melanie B. And Melanie Sporty. Melanie C. I'll, I'll, I'll give you that. Yeah. Because Melanie Brown and Melanie Chisholm. Yeah. Rhymes with Chisholm. Um. <laughs> <laughs> That's a weird say, though, isn't it? Chisholm rhymes with Chisholm. She actually said that once herself in an interview. I can believe it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Give it a more forceful spin then. It lands on 80s again. And it lands on 80s again. Right, okay. <clears throat> Which single from The Clash reached the top 20 in 1982? London Calling. Mm, no. It's the only Clash song I know, so that's it. It's, it's, this is very much the mantra of me every time we record. Is it time to go home yet? <laughs> should I stay or should I go? Oh, right, okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's put that in my little pile. Okay. Oh, wait, do, should we just take a moment to appreciate the lazy Susan? Okay, we've taken a moment. Now spin it. There we go. There we go. I'll spin it. We don't call them. We don't really call them that. I think it's very American. What, what's it called here, then? A lethargic Linda. <laughs> <laughs> cake stand, I believe the phrase. Cake stand. Um, uh, we <laughs> we're back on pop. Oh, great. Oh, <laughs> which was Craig David's first UK number one? 
Oh, that song where he sang about so like shagging girls on dates and stuff. Um, I don't know the name of it because it's, it's so uh, it's like belched on a Monday, six nine on a Tuesday, breeding each other. That wasn't Wednesday, actually hanging on Thursday, and on Friday and Saturday she came on Sunday. It was called. It was called Fill Me In. <laughs> oh, okay. Because it wasn't the one about the, the girls of the week. Fill me in. No, I shan't. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. A spin again. It's quite... Oh. Is it right? Okay, 80s or pop? Pop. Good. Pop. I'm fed up with the 80s. Fed up with them. Just fed up with them. Oh. Never. The successful Canadian rapper Drake has had hits with Hotline Bling... That sounded very, very Middle England. Hotline Bling and One Dance. What is his first name? Drake. Roger. Roger Drake. Famous rapper. Uh, I would have known he's Aubrey. <sighs> Aubrey Drake. Oh, okay. Hmm. Not far from a Roger. No. No. Okay. Would you Roger Drake? No. Rock. Few rock ones. Mm. Which group had a hit with My Generation in 1965? Not My Generation, but Their the Generation. Generation 1965. Yeah. Um, there's so many comments. Um, I don't know. I'm going, Talking I'm, about my generation. Things they do look awful. Cold. I do, 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 do. get old lately. Um, I don't know. I'm going to say The Clash. <sighs> Who? The Rolling Who. The Rolling The Who. <laughs> the Beatles, The Stones, The Rolling Who. The Who. Um, <laughs> for, for anybody under the age of uh, 40, that is an absolutely fabulous reference. Um, go look it up on YouTube, kids. <laughs> oh, that was a long one. Oh, and it, got, it went back to rock. Oh, great. Oh, okay. Frontman Brian Molko. Placebo. Is... Oh, she got one straight up. Were you a placebo fan? I, I, I'm a placebo fan. Oh, okay. Yes, I, I spent. I, I was a bit, a bit gothy. Before, well, I was a bit emo before emo was a thing. Uh, you were a Nancy boy, weren't you? I was alcoholic kind of mood. Lose my clothes, lose oh, my loot. I think they've just released a new album. They have released a new album. Oh, and they did... ha they're going on tour again. Oh, will you be front row? Not front row. Don't row with your smooth MX legs. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. We'll talk about other stories that we talk about off air. <laughs> Should we have that conversation about finding chocolate buttons? No. No, okay. we shan't. We shan't. Okay. <laughs> Coming back after this break, we have oh Make it's Crafty Queens. <laughs> Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. Now it's time we hop along to Lee with Crafty Queens. Well, as, as it is Easter, he is risen, bathing his blood, we're going to be doing something Eastery. Mr. Benny and Row. Eating chocolate till we're sick. Mm, we can, yeah, well, you can do that afterwards, but we're gonna we're gonna make um, an Easter bunny okay. from a sock, clean uh, sock. <laughs> Don't want your wank socks. Yeah. So we so we you have an accoutrement of arrangements, an, an arrangement of accoutrements even. Okay. On your on your desk. So first of all, I would like to locate your sock. I have my sock. Yeah. Fluffy, fluffy sock. Fluffy sock. Nice sock. Now you should have a bag of rice. Yep. And what you're gonna do is you're mm -hmm. gonna pour. Uh-huh. Rice into the sock. How much rice? Um, what you want to do is pour it up until kind of like... Towards the ankle sort of. Yeah, because okay. you want the top of the, the sock is going to be rabbit ears. Right, okay. So, yeah. So, yeah. Not, not so much that you can't get a rubber band around it. Okay. Um... I'm, this is going to create the stuffing. Could we have used um, wholemeal rice for those people that want to eat healthily? Well, you're not eating it, but if you, you know, any old rice will do. Any old rice will do. 
Like the packet microwave rice. No, that's gl glocky. It's glompy, isn't it? <laughs> it's going to be dry <laughs> rice. Dry. Now, if I'd have had the, the forethought, I would have brought um, a funnel. Okay. But I didn't. Ooh. It's, I mean, it's quite difficult, actually. Not really. Okay. I'm having difficulty. So the question is, do you want it long and thin, or do you want it quite fat? It's your tr your preference of your rabbit. If you if you prefer a fat rabbit, uh huh, to a and or you prefer more of a hair like rabbit. Okay, so mine's going long and thin at the minute. Okay, well you know you want it, you want a quite a bit of rice in there. Okay, I want quite a bit of rice. I can't get any rice out. I, I'm I'm emptying quite a lot out actually. Just patting it down so we've got a bigger end. Yes. Oh, it's doing it now. It's doing it now. The trick is trying to not get the rice all over. I've not spilled a single grain yet. <laughs> you might want to kind of like spoosh it down a bit. Uh-huh, that's what I am. Sure. I'm not sure why rabbit is it, rabbits are associated with Easter. Um, so, because Easter as a Christian festival, um, you say pagan festival, which is like both of them. Oh. And like, which might change it. Yeah, um, so, because of that, it, they used a lot of the facility symbols. So, when they were indoctrinating the local population into Christianity, they used the symbols and, and the holidays that they were using. I say, it's the same one, it's just the right way of saying it. Oh, okay. So that's why Christ, Christmas is always so like winter time and Easter's the, the fourth form of the equinox. Wow, I, I pretty much tuned out. Yeah, no, you did. Quite soon. <laughs> yeah. Right, so. so I, I probably should get my whole bag into my rabbit. Oh, right, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm going to have slightly longer ears on mine. Okay. So I've not filled all mine up. So, what you need to do mm. is get one of your rubber bands. Uh huh. Okay. Put that over the top of the, the sock neck. Okay. And you're going to bring that down to kind of like sort of three, qu three quarters of a way. To give it some sort of head shape. Yeah. So I need to give this rabbit head. Yes, Mike. And if you haven't got rubber bands, you can use string. The souls of children will do. Yeah, you could use that as well. Yeah. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Okay. Right. I might have to do that twice. <laughs> I can tell mine's going. I might actually put a bit more rice because it's going to have like a little fat body and a very tiny head. I think next. No, okay, I've got it. I've got it. Oh, okay. okay. And then you're going to take your second rubber band uh -huh. and put that around the top to kind of. This is that's going to kind of separate its head if it had a head. Okay. You might need to do that a couple of times. Can you see now it's got kind of a almost a rabbity type shape? Oh. It doesn't look like the rabbit I've got at home. Well. Mm-hmm. So now the bit that's kind of sticking up there, uh -huh. that's gonna be your ears. So what you're gonna do with your scissors is you're gonna cut a line down both sides. So cut it in half, essentially. Okay. I'm just going to cut down my ears, yeah? Yeah. Okay. It, it kind of rabbit. Mine's kind of rabbit ears. How are yours ears looking? Right, yeah. Right yeah. So now we're gonna we're gonna give it some features now. So um, you should have oh, the perennial favourite. Googly eyes. The googly eyes. Get some. Get some glue on those. These are slightly larger than one would normally use. I'm surprised we're not using a hot glue gun. I don't have the energy today. <laughs> for, for hot gluing. And um, stick them on. Now, you see, mine, you could, you, could do a, you could do a little bar lamb as well if you wanted to. A bar lamb. A little bar lamb. Um, so, yeah, got your eyes on. Okay. And then you, I don't know what colour, but you, I have two um, little fluffy pom-poms. Uh-huh. Um, they are going to make its, like, nosy bit. So where you stuck your eyes, eyes, put a bit of glue on each of your little pom poms. Uh. Mine's a walrus now. Look. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's like a transformer. 
It's like a shit transformer. Um, <laughs> like a shit rabbit too. Shit rabbit. Um, I'm gonna stick those either side there to give it that kind of like little rubbery. The thing with this is the more they put the features on, the more it resembles the thing that you're, you're actually trying, trying to make it look like. Okay. Okay. So, <laughs> are your are your two little? Yes, they are. Yeah. So you should oh, have a tiny little mouth with 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 rubber ears, red mouth with two little teeth. rabbity teeth. Yeah. Put a, a little bit of glue on the back of that, and then that goes. Right, yeah, under the. Oh, that's oh, already. Oh. It needs a nose. It does. It needs a nose. So you you should have a tiny little gem that's shaped like a heart. Yeah. Pink, yeah. Bit of glue on that. Put that in the middle of the two blue things. It's like, whatever way you want to, if you want it to have it up. It, like, mm. You might have to hold it for a second or two. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, do you know what I haven't done? What? Not put the whiskers on it. Okay. But we'll forget those for now. Um, so right, okay. So you've got you've got your, your teeth and your nose on. Yep. Yeah. Um, blue big. I've got a blue big blue fluffy pom pom. Uh huh. I think yours is yours pink. Yep. That goes on its backside. It's a tail. Tail. Now it's up to you whether you want to give it feet or not. Yeah, let's give it feet. Okay, so you have um, a, a piece of card that's cut out like a heart. Uh-huh. Yeah. So, a bit of glue on the back of that. Yep. And then that goes underneath, so it's little feet. Oh. And then, and that, children, is what nightmares are made of. <laughs> <laughs> it will hop into your soul night quite i mean it's quite it is quite cute yeah so that that, that is the end of this week's crafty queen easter crafty queen bunny crafty queen so and you know what we say every single week sorry we really are sorry i'm gonna i'm saying it i'm saying it if you can't get any peen or any of a gene be an easter crafty queen Quite cute. Yeah, I think mine's cuter though. So you didn't follow the instructions to the precise. No, I I, I made it look cute. Mine's got a bit of a wobble, bit of a broken neck. <laughs> That's almost the end of the show for this week. Remember to join us on our social media at the Cud TV. Our website is thecud.tv, and of course on YouTube and podcast, just search for Chewing the Cud. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you all soon. Bye. Not saying goodbye to Bye. Those. Yeah. So, um, why does this smell like semen? Why does it smell like semen? Well, it smells like semen.